Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. Today I'll show you how to tear down and reassemble the HP Mini 110 netbook. Alright, turn the laptop around and on the back you'll find, on the battery, you'll find two switches. Um, this is the lock and this is another lock. Makes sense, right? <laughs> okay, you want to take this lock and slide it to the right. Now it's unlocked. Shown by this little lock, unlock here. Now, put slide this slider to the right and lift the battery up, and it should come out. Put the battery aside. And now you want to lift it up and pull this orange tab right here. Then the whole bottom cover just comes off. Note, this this BIOS battery that just came out is probably bulging or something. It doesn't want to stay in there, so that's why it fell out. In yours, it should just be right here. Now, let's put the bottom cover aside. Now, let's remove the keyboard. Alright, I've just moved the I've moved the camera a bit closer. Um, I'll be sitting at the opposite side now. This is much more comfortable for me, and in the in the long part for you because I won't be as stressed as finishing this. So, just take a regular Phillips head screwdriver, and you want to start unscrewing it. Unscrewing the screw right here with a ke little keyboard next to it. And um, you want to unscrew the screw here with a keyboard above it, and a screw here with a keyboard also above it. And there we go, all your screws are done. I'm just going to put them to the side right here. Now, the next step is there goes the bias battery again. Now, next step is to flip the laptop around and open it up. Which goes a bit harder because it's really light now since it has no battery. You can also stick your hand between there now. Take a spudger like this or something else that's plastic. Um, and start unclipping the clips at the keyboard. And just like that, I've tried again with my spudger. And this is, this is why you don't use low quality plastic tools. Alright, I finally found a way. I, I'm just going to gently push down on this plastic and then insert a screwdriver in here. Alright, finally I'm do it, undoing the clips right now. Yes. There we go. Finally, the keyboard came loose. That is now so light, it will literally fall to his back. So, flip the laptop around, flip the keyboard around, I mean, not the laptop, not, I think you can see it, there's a connector right here, um, but you want to open it up like that, it just opens, and you can pull the ribbon out, and you can lay the keyboard aside. Alright, for the next step, you want to once again close up the laptop, and you want to turn it around, and you want to start unscrewing this, 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 and this screw. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. All right, now that was that done, I'm gonna just screw this out of the way. You want to pull open, pull open this black tab, and take this some kind of see-through tab, and just take it out. You can take the whole caddy with you. I'm just going to put that to the side. The next part is to remove the RAM. In some laptops there's a cover right here. Um, you just... You remove the cover with the screws here and here. But I don't have a cover. And then you just slide, pull these two tabs out of the way. Until the memory comes to go comes up at an angle. And then you want to just lift it out. It's, good. it's pretty easy. I'm going to just put that to the side. And the next step is to remove the screw here, 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 and here. 
So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Alright, now we're all screwed removed, so I'm just gonna put them to the side real quick. And then next you want to open up the laptop again. Alright, with the laptop open, you want to move this screw, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Alright, next step, um, my camera died, so that's why I didn't get to film removing all the screws, but I think I've <laughs> said it. Um, next step is to remove this ribbon right here and the speaker cable right here. Be careful not to pull this ribbon outward, um, since this is not a connector. This is a pull tab which you pull up. Uh, no, this is something that, that connector that you pull up, and you can pull it with this tab and pull it out. First time I tried to do this on camera, um, I pulled the whole thing out accidentally, and I thought I broke it. Broke it. So next thing is to remove the speaker wire. Just the fingernails and that's out all right next step is to just remove the plastic bo body from the frame sorry if i don't get this on video it's kind of hard step to get on catch on video so all right now you we can just remove the whole part and it's just come right clean off <clears throat> all right next step after you've taken the bottom, the top part off is to remove the bottom board it's uh, locked in with a couple of screws a couple of connectors um, not too much so you just want to remove this screw right here and this screw right here All right next up you want to remove the motherboard there's a clip right here holding it into place it should just after that come right out but before you want to do that make sure to remove this cable this is the display cable make sure it's removed and after that you should just be able to take the whole board out make sure that this is this is loose and out of the way and just take it out a little bit because there are still cables connected so be careful there's a cable right underneath here make sure to remove that and then the antenna wires this is something i should have done in the beginning but i'm only coming to it now um since some laptops do not have this module and apparently this one does and i've completely stumbled over it but you want to remove this antenna wire at the back now for you you want to remove this antenna wire at the back and you want to remove this another antenna wire at the front and then the whole board just comes right out now to remove the wireless module remove the two screws holding it in and it should it should pop up just like the ram and then you can just take it out and last but not least uh the cooling fan and there is a little screw it should be right here i've already taken it out real quick and um, and then there is another screw right here at the top of it so we're gonna remove that as well there is a little screw right here as well and then the fan just comes right out you can remove a little bit of sticky tape holding it on and then you want to you can just get the connector get it loose and then remove the cooling fan next you want to remove these two screws holding in the heatsink and last this screw up here the whole thing comes right off um, I'm right now not going to replace the thermal paste now to the screen screw right here right here and right here I'm not gonna show you in depth of how to remove uh, also the like the whole, the whole screen assembly since I'm not really comfortable with doing that and there are probably a thousand other after that you can just make sure that you've got all the cables, T-Vibes, and you can take it out. I'm not going to take it out. Um, 
I'm gonna show you how to put it all back together. So welcome back. If you have, uh, well, if you were gone, welcome back to the second part of the video um, where I reassemble the whole netbook. First off, we're gonna get these screws. For if it's not in frame, these screws are the hardest things in the world to get on. Um, and that is how you remove the screen hinge from its hinge. But we're just going to put this aside now. While we move on to the motherboard. Now let's put it on the heatsink once again. So, you want to put it in like this. Make sure that these two are aligned. Make sure that that one is aligned. And we're going to start screwing this one, this part down. And these Alright, now that the heatsink is on, you're going to want to take the fan and we're going to put it, put it in this way with the cable arriving down to the bottom, put it in and we want to take the very little tiny screws that we have and we want to screw those in right here, here and here. So for the reassembling, I'm not going to put the Wi-Fi card on right away. That's going to come at the end. Alright, we want to take the frame again and align the motherboard. Alright, and you want to place it in like this where the VGA connector is right here. So before we assemble, I'm going to try and just put this power connector in. This power connector. This power connector connects right here to the board, which is so, I'm just gonna try. Alright, with the motherboard now in place, um, we want to take the screen connector and connect the screen back up. We're gonna take these two screws and we're gonna screw them in where they were. Alright, with the motherboard now in place. Um, we're going to put the top cover back on here and it should just clip right into place everywhere sorry if I can't get it on video but it's pretty straightforward you just put it on and it clips into place everywhere where it should Alright, with now the top cover back on again, we're going to just, we're going to make sure that it's nice and tight on, and we're going to add the cables back into the motherboard, which is the speaker cable right here, and the, and the touchpad cable right here. Next is to uh, first insert the screws right here and here, which are smaller ones. What's up? And we get these three inverse and go right into here. Alright, next for the bigger screws. We have four of them. One goes right right down here. One goes to the right here and next to that. And then the last one goes right down here. Alright. Now that those are all in place, um, we want to. Because now we want to close it up to down again, and we want to move over to the back side where we install the RAM again. This is pretty easy. Slot it in at an angle, and then clip it down. Next up is installing the hard drive, which is also pretty straightforward. It's just get the tab open. Slot the hard drive in and put the tab down. Get the four hard drive screws and put them in. Alright, now that's all in place. We want 
we want to install the wireless card real quick which is just pre also pretty straightforward it's the same as the RAM but without the locking mechanism it's a screw um, we want to just install it like this and then like that take the two somewhat smaller screws and then install them and then we want to get the white wire goes right here on the far side And then the, the small black one is goes a bit a bit uh, closer to the where the cables come from. Make sure that they're good and routed so that they won't fill in any way. Now congratulations, you've got installed the Wi-Fi card. Um, next thing is to flip up open the laptop once again and in and reinstall the keyboard which first which of course first you want to get this ribbon cable connected so pull this up and then get the ribbon cable in it's, yep now it's in there we go just make sure that the blue part isn't visible and you should be good now clip the Keyboard right into place. Make sure that's into place. Now close the laptop down again. And we want to install the last couple of screws, which are first the case screws, which which go right here, 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 and here again. So we're gonna install those real quick. Now we're going to install the last couple of screws, which are the key, which are the keyboard screws again. So the, you should by now have just a couple of screws left over, which is just the keyboard screws, which are right here, which are just installed here and here, and the case screws, which are right here, 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 and here. So I'm going to install those real quick and then uh, we should be golden with a completely turned down and reassembled HP Mini 110 netbook. So. Alright and time for the last screw. So um, it's time to install the BIOS battery if yours doesn't fall out. Um, just in my case, I'm going to replace it with a new one. Which is not going to help the fact that it still wants to fall out, but anyway. And we want to just close it up completely. Make sure that it's clipped into place. And now the bottom now and now the bottom cover is on. We're just going to install the battery. And lock it. And ta-da! We have completely, completely torn down our HP Mini 110 netbook. And we have completely reassembled it. Alright, with the laptop fully reassembled again, I want to thank you guys for watching. Comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video again. Goodbye.